People are gone. You know what I want to say? You know what a good battery is? This, these right here, Ultimum batteries. I um, let me show. You. This battery right here, Ultima, is a great, great battery. I use this battery for my winch, right? And um, I don't even have it hooked up to a steady supply where it recharges itself. I just charge it maybe every once a month or something like that. And I was thinking, I didn't know how old the battery was, but I know I charged it last week and then it drained really fast and I had to charge it again. And I was like, okay, my battery's getting old. So I was like, it seemed like I only had it for three years, but then I look on the side of the sticker here. I had this battery since 2017. So therefore that means um, this battery is what? 18, 19, 20, 22. I've had this battery for about six years. It's done its service, um, but I'm still gonna take take it off to test it. Batteries, but you know what I want to say? That's not why I really, really got on here to say. I'm just sharing it because I'm sharing it. But what I want to say is, the spirit of backwardness has hit the enemy of God's people, and it's happened. It happened in a whole chain effect, and then they know what happened. You know, different people who you've had fake friends, you've been in um, like ex-friends that you've had, people who you've been in previous relationships with, uh, family members, you know, a lot of people that came together to, just to try to block you, whatever you're doing. You could have a ministry and they they probably say, oh, it won't grow, you know, or you can have um, new people come into your life and they say, oh, that's going to break up. They can't stand to see other people. They can't stand to see you moving on without them. They can't stand to see you continuously progressing and they've constantly bothered and messed with God's people and what God has revealed to me, he showed me something, you know, they're not even, some of them are not even sorry. And as we continue to just keep getting up, moving, getting up, rising or whatever, people are upset by that. And some of them who they still have not humbled themselves to God. They know they are dealing with what they're dealing with, but they not humbled themselves. God has shown me specifically. I had a dream last night and he showed me a family member that was in cahoots with um, one of my ex friends that betrayed me and they, and, and you know, and, and she was trying to get, you know, they were trying to get information from each other and this family member that betrayed me, um, you know, he just, he had something in his heart against me too that I never knew. But anyway, I, in real life, collectively, Several of these people, I, God has shown me, um, some of them try to hide themselves, but several of these people, a spirit of backwardness hit them, and it, and it happened simultaneously, like it happened to all of them. Some of them don't even know each other, but some of them clicked up, some of your enemies clicked up right through Facebook, and they sit and they watch your ministry, they send curses against you, you know, you battle, your, a lot of your problems and your opposition is witchcraft, and they want the people closest in your life, they want to disrupt those relationships. There are some people who sit back and work spells against your parents, against your, against you, you and your relationship, but let's say you have a close relationship with one of your parents or both of your parents and y'all always been close there's some people who work spells because they want to move that individual out of the way or they don't like y'all bond y'all probably have such a close bond you probably come here come here you probably really love each other and you they supporting you and this person feels like your parent could probably put you on the game because sometimes especially a mother a mother sees and they reveal things and your parent probably put you onto something and because they know that you got your parent who can see in the spirit or just see them for who they are they feel like they got to get them out of the way so that they can deal with you how they want to deal with you but the spirit of backwardness has hit these people let me tell you something come here daniel come here my team come here come here my team some of these people they are professional people they're doing good in life they ain't had to focus on you they didn't have to hate on you they didn't have to try to block you in life and, and try to monitor your progress and keep you down they didn't like what god was doing in your life some of them feel that you're too young to have all that you have that you some of them feel like you ain't went through what they went through they for whatever reason it, it was none of their business to try to interfere with what god was doing in your life but they tried they contest they, they consistently tried to, to interfere with what god was doing in your life and when they couldn't stop you physically when their whole gang and their whole group of people that didn't didn't like you their physical things like the positions that some of them abused their worldly authority the positions that they were in and when the, that failed when they saw they couldn't keep you down physically by abusing their authority to whatever information they had access to and whatever information they could use against you that couldn't keep you down so some of them went spiritual and as they went spiritual and them curses start backfiring 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 a lot of the people that was helping them started falling off some of these people monitor your, for those of you that have other social media sites i don't i don't have it as of now I I don't maybe one day in the future i may get access to something like facebook or something again but not now but some of you who have 
social media and even in YouTube, they monitor that. But some of you who have, who have other social media accounts, you have people that will sit on your page or come on your stuff and they will monitor you. Just pay attention to how people they will. They probably you can probably see. I don't know if Facebook is still like that. You could probably see people who view your stuff, but they won't even click a like button. Some people monitor you. They want to see if you haven't held in your life. They want to see if the curses, the spells that they're working against your finances, against your ministry, against your mental clarity. They want to drain your energy against your health. They want to see if these curses is working, but you got to keep praying. But I'm going to tell you something. Their power is weak. They don't have the power over God. I don't care what type of person. They can pay. Some of these people have gone in debt because they keep trying to pay people to work against you. And they can pay the highest witch, the highest warlock in the world. They can pay them all over the country from Africa to Timbuktu. They can get them to team up and their power still won't be able to overcome you when you got the power, the favor of God on your life. And I'm going to tell you something. See, now what has happened is they got time to repent. They got time to turn. They got time to confess their sins, renounce those things that are hidden. But some of them are hiding because of pride and they angry. They angry with you all because you got away. And a spirit of backwardness has hit them simultaneously. You got folk who are who are doing good in life, who are professional people, who have money coming into them from different avenues, who still got their health and strength, was able to go and make other income. Come back, guys. Come here. Daniel, Mate, come here. You had they were they, they were able to make multiple screens of income and stuff like that, but they still wouldn't take their eyes off of you. They still try to keep their foot on your neck they still try to throw knives in your back and they didn't want nobody else to have access to you they don't want nobody else to be in relationship with you they want to keep you down so much so um that they will go out of their way to hold you down and what has happened is while they was doing all that stuff paying all these people doing all these secret witchcrafts and spell they was failing they were losing their blessing god was taking their blessing and giving it to you it may have been hard for you sometime you may have felt down you may have felt overwhelmed and depressed but really what you was battling is them witchcraft curses see you can feel the effects of it but it ain't gonna hurt you you may feel sluggish you may feel lazy you may feel mind mind boggling like you can't get your focus and stuff like that right it's all the curses that you was fighting off but see that aura that energy that what what that spirit that god has put on the inside of you that warrior spirit is stronger than all the evil and see now they see it and they scared of it if you was to see them out in public they'll probably hold their head down or they you know what i'm saying and that if that pride in them they'll they, if that pride in them and they still bold when them in them demonic spirit they'll smile with you and try to come up to you and hug you don't let them touch you but see what's happening some of these people they had nice homes come here come here they were doing good and what happened is they kept working on you and they, God caused them, they had to sell their house. They had to get out of their home. They had, their finances started being crippled. They started losing. They had to go back. You had, well, how painful is it for somebody to move from a place that they used to live in over 10 years ago? And then they move into, they have a nice home and they have to go back from buying to renting. That's backwardness. That's the spirit of backwardness. And I'm not talking about the average person who may run over a hard time sometimes. See, some of these people, they got curses on their life. They ain't running into a hard time. They they, they dealing with that backfire of their curses. How, 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 how sad it is when somebody had to go being independent to now you got to go and live with somebody. And then you still being evil you still being proper you still monitoring people and see they'll think pe people who they think you communicating with they ain't know you didn't cut off everybody that used to be mutual but people who you used to communicate with they think they can send them and reach out to you and a little small little dummies who ain't got no discernment who, who who supposed to be men and women of god be up in the church that can sing and pastor got all these titles up in the church but as a hypocrite they're gonna reach out to you hey girl what's going on and you know that was that main witch that sent them to you because this person don't even communicate with you they've been had you've been then cut them off for how long but see they dumb they not smart satan's children are not smart so what i want to tell you people god keep doing good keep showing up even when you tired press your way through press your way through baby get up and keep moving because you winning you might can't see it but in a in, in, at a time that's going to be unexpected to you it's going to be suddenly everything just going to start unfolding it already unfolding because they sitting back watching you <laughs> they sitting back watching you now and it's going to keep unfolding but you keep pressing your way through because what god is doing is he's using you you may not like it it may not feel good but stay go go through if you still bad at coming out of the struggle keep keep coming out of it keep trusting god he's using you to give these dummies these dummies an opportune time 
to give them a chance to repent, to renounce those things that hid and to confess their sins, turn from their wicked ways. Because it's not God's will that any man or woman should perish. You understand? So anyway, I just want to share that a spirit of backwardness has hit the enemies of God's people. They going through it right now. Hey, don't you look for them. Don't you try to go and see. Your, your mind should stay focused. See, let them do the watch. They the one that watch people in secret. You keep doing what you got to do. You keep staying focused. You keep getting up. You keep showing up. And that's another thing that's getting to them. Because they realizing the more you get up and you shake that devil off your feet. They seeing you still moving. You still progressing. You still got your joy. Now they know. That they power is weak and the po the strongest power they is is the power of God. Come here, baby, your ear itching. They know that the strongest power is the power of God. So that may cause some of them to come out and renounce those things, you know, and they confess their sin. But they ain't got to be your friend no more. I mean, you ain't got to be mad at them. You already done forgive them. But just know the spirit of backwardness has hit all of the enemies of God's people. I'm telling you now, I ain't telling you what I reckon i tell you what i know all across the world all across the country wherever you at child of god whoever been coming against you a spirit of backwardness has already hit them god has intervened for his people you understand stay focused on your purpose keep going i love you